After its launch on November 12th, the Walt Disney Company's Disney Plus has exceeded 10 million subscribers. The Walt Disney Company has partnered with many major networks and franchises, including Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic. Disney Plus offers consumers of all ages compelling entertainment with an amazing price to value proposition of $6.99 per month. One of my roommates happens to be among those who have purchased the service. She has enjoyed many programs so far, however, she said that she has run into several issues with the app. She informed me that some of the programs listed on the service are not yet available and will not be available for a while. She also told me that many of the dates are wrong on program listings and that the app sometimes crashes. This information has caused me to have several doubts regarding Disney+. Plus. Why are some of these programs on the service if they're not yet available? Why are the dates wrongs on programs? Why does the app glitch if millions of dollars were invested into the programming? It seems to me that the Walt Disney Company was too eager to launch Disney+. Plus. The New York Post reported that more than 8,300 people had technical difficulties with the Disney Plus app on the day of its release, receiving error messages and facing login issues. It is clear that the Walt Disney Company prioritized the hype surrounding the launch over technical specificities of the program. I think that this mentality is also conveyed in the fact that many programs on the app are not yet available. It seems that the Walt Disney Company would like to make it seem as though they have more content on the app than they really do. I'm not saying I don't appreciate Disney Plus. My roommate and I happen to enjoy a full season of Hannah Montana this past homecoming weekend. All I'm saying is the Walt Disney Company should probably sort out the small kinks of the application before gloating about their success. I'm your host Amanda Greco here on Fordham Live. Thanks for watching.